Hey what's up guys Richard here from World of VFX after a long one month I am creating this video to teach you how you can create this kind of scene inside of Unreal Engine 5.5 I hope you guys will love this a lot so without further delay let's get started All right guys uh, currently I am in Unreal Engine 5.5 and this is the scene which I am going to recreate for you and maybe the recreation process maybe some changes but the process is exactly same All right so first of all go to file a new level and I'm just creating an open level also you can create an empty level so just press create and let's say don't save now before doing anything go to contained browser or your contained folder and just right click take a new folder and just name it to land and then just press enter now going inside i'm going to create a basic light setup which is called windows and environment light and mixer simply turn on everything right from here now going down you can find this option called volumetric fog make sure check this on and now your light setup is good to go after that simply select all and just push it in a new folder and just name it to light now need to save the level so go to file and save all simply go to your land folder and just name your level let's say land and just press save now you can go further now what i am going to do i am going to create a landscape here so simply click this landscape button and here you can find the massive landscape no need to change anything but yes if you have a specific height map you can definitely use that i don't have that so i'm just press create now you need to sculpt this landscape little bit because i am just going to create a downfall area so what i'm going to do simply sculpt this landscape something like this So after doing your sculpting just uh, go to the landscape and go to the selection tab so here i'm just did a very basic level of sculpting to create a scene now first thing first we are going to implement the landscape material so simply select the landscape now if you have a specific materials then good to go so i have already downloaded the materials from mega scan fab so if you just click this fab button you can find this mega scan option now if you don't know how to use mega scan or fab assets in unreal engine comment down below fab then definitely i'll create a video on that now go to surfaces so i have two surfaces so if you just turn on material instance you can find these two materials so now i'm going to use this second material just drag and drop this to landscape material option and now if you notice this material look something like this now if you notice the material is not added any displacement so it means it's just like a normal simple material so we are going to enable the nanite material option which is called nanite tessellation to create some displacement in this so what i'm going to do just double click on this landscape material and just you can find this option now if you going down you can find this option called parent just double click in it and it will open in a node graph area so here you can notice this called displacement make sure this should turn on your nanite tessellation option now what i'm going to do simply go here and just type nanite and just need to find this nanite enable just enable this and just need to rebuild data and boom you can see your nanite tessellation started working and the landscape looks pretty amazing with so much displacement and all now this scene looks more real after adding this displacement isn't it comment down below now just close this and we are almost done with our landscape part now let's build our entire scene now to get a scene i am going to use this called temple of columbia and here i have lot of static meshes you can definitely go to this fab website and you can download this maybe in future they are going to make this paid version so just uh, download it and use it so here i can find so many assets of big rocks small rocks and then uh, you know the foliage and all so let's use one by one and let's create an entire scene so just drag and drop this and if you notice this landscape material and this material are exactly almost same so it will become a very good blend materials now before moving anything you just need to add a mani queen here to make sure it will be calculate as a real world scale so now simply drag and drop this blueprint character to your scene and now this will become your understanding part that how much scale you need as a real world scale so just add this in your scene and just leave it so so now what i'm going to do is just simply scale this up to match with this scale and yeah this looks pretty pretty good yeah and now what i'm going to do simply press alt and duplicate it and just rotate this to make some variations in it and again let's reposition it so i'm going to use a top view to make this uh, really cool and let's go to this uh, temple of columbia static meshes and now going to use one other asset to fill this area and now let's scale this pretty big and just rotate this slightly now i'm going to cover this area because i am not going to use anything right over here so i'm going to use the same asset just duplicate and uh, let's 
reposition it right over here just like this so in this way you can cover the back side now you can work on the front area now i'm going to use the same asset by holding alt and just push it here so now our base is ready let's work on the rest of the part but if you notice the shadows looks pretty creepy and if you notice this shadows are not that real which exactly going to do so what i'm going to do i'm going to use one command to fix this shadow so as you all know this is a ray tracing supported uh, file so what i'm going to do just go to this command and control v this command make sure you have to save this command i already added this in my description box below and once you press enter suddenly you can see your all shadow issues are gone so make sure you have to do this while you facing this thing in ray tracing file all right and so now let's work on the rest of the part and i'm going to fast forward this entire part to make sure you guys will understand all this properly Now I just created this scene, uh, it looks something like this. I just made a little bit of curve so that I can eliminate the camera posture. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use first the camera because I'm not going to work on the unwanted areas. So let's create the camera first and before that simply select all these rocks and just move this in a separate folder just to, to make it organize, so just uh, make it rock and press enter so everything right now inside of this rock folder if i'm going to create anything in future i'm going to create under this rock folder so now let's create a new uh, camera so click this three options and uh, select the camera and cine camera actor so this is our camera view and let's find out the mannequin so this is the character and if you notice from this view this looks actually pretty big so that's why you need the mannequin every time once you do any kind of a landscape scene so select the camera and uh, let's right click and snap object to the view so that this view will be your permanent view. So after that select the camera going down just change it to DSLR. So this is ultra wide and uh, let's create it something like 30 millimeter. So in 30 millimeter you can see something like this. So I'm going to change this to let's say 12 millimeter and this looks perfect. Now, now I'm going to use this minimum and maximum focal length to let's say 15 and after that just going down. You can find this lens settings just make it to zero going down you can find this focus option just decrease the focus just turn this on and i'm just going to use the focus somewhere here so that the background will be in out of focus all right our actual scene builder process is done if you notice we have very good of uh, volumetric fog now let's add some assets and the trees to make the scene more real now to add the trees what i'm going to do i'm going to use random trees right over here but make sure that should always cover with our this landscape just press f this is the tree and simply scale this pretty big actually and now let's move the tree somewhere here to check if it will working or not yes this looks pretty good so now i'm going to use some random trees to fill this entire landscape So now the tree process is entirely done. Now let's work a little bit on the light. So just press Ctrl and L on your keyboard. Now let's rotate the lighting to match with our convenient scene. So in this case, I'm going to use some volumetric lights and a little bit of dark kind of a lighting scene in this uh, landscape. So to make the scene more real. So for this, let's work on this lighting. Now select the directional light. So just go to this light option, directional light and simply type OCC. This is called the occlusion. Just turn this on and suddenly you will feel some volumetric fog more. Now going to this uh, exponential height and fog and here you can just going down you can find this called volumetric fog scattering distribution. Just decrease the scattering distribution to decrease the fog and increase it to make sure the fog looks pretty good right in the background. Now if you want to make some more extraction scale just change it to 2 see the fog density is changed but if you want more fog simply change it to fog density to 0.1 now see you have a lot more fogs but this looks so much unreal so just change it to 0.2 only and just you can change this height fog slightly to make it blend properly all right so now let's go to this uh you know uh, the viewport here right here and now control and l 
and slightly move your light to let's see which lighting direction is good for your scene with this volumetric light so for this let's work on this one this is from the top view and now select this directional light and here you can find indirect light intensity just change it to 3 so that the bounce light are getting increased now this scene looks pretty good now what i'm going to do i'm going to use one hdri also to make the scene more real so click here and go to this basic lights and you can find this hdri backdrop and now what i'm going to do simply make it little bigger so just go to 5000 and just push it down something like this now after that i'm going to use post process volume so just go to this visual effects post process volume and type infinite and just turn this on to make sure this will affect on infinite area and going here you can find this option called exposure simply check this to on and make sure check this to on also now one by one to lock the exposure and now change it to two so exactly you will feel the same scene now going up you can find this option called bloom effect simply turn this to on to make sure your scene looks pretty bloomy and all now let's add some few more assets to make this scene more real now let's work on the camera so go to this level level sequence and uh, go to this land save it here now select our cameras just drag and drop here so this is the scene from the camera now let's animate the camera a little bit so simply go to this transform go to last frame just camera push slightly just to the top that's it just uh, make sure keyframe should on right click and linear now once you play this is the camera view now as i told you earlier i already done this before and every time the output looks different so the process is exactly same i am just use the same assets on my uh, that video and also the same assets i am going to use on this video as well but the process is exactly same maybe the output looks different that's it only so yes guys that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this video a lot if yes then subscribe to our channel follow us on our social media handles and i'll be back with some more amazing content till then keep watching keep rocking bye